late-breaking development, the deputy director of the CIA, Richard Kerr, said late today that the CIA did use the Bank of Credit and Commerce International, BCCI, which is now embroiled in the biggest banking scandal in history, to support CIA activities overseas. Kerr said that the agency more recently used BCCI to monitor activities of drug traffickers and terrorists. No doubt there'll be more on that story over the next couple of days. Secretary of State Baker met... There is new evidence tonight that Pakistan got money to build its nuclear weapons program from BCCI, the notorious Bank and Credit of Commerce International. More on this latest twist in the BCCI scandal from NBC's chief financial correspondent, Mike Jensen. Evidence that BCCI, known as the Bank of Crooks and Criminals International, was involved in financing Pakistan's atomic weapons program comes from these documents uncovered by Canadian authorities. They pinpoint BCCI's involvement in a deal to come up with more than $333,000 for the purchase of special metal alloys needed to build machinery to process enriched uranium for nuclear bombs. Intelligence officials say the uranium was processed behind these walls at a secret facility in Pakistan. So At a U.S. Senate hearing last week, the founder of BCCI, Aga Hassan Abadi, was linked to former Pakistani President Zia. I've been told that Zia and Mr. Abadi were very close friends, to the point where when he had a severe coronary, uh, it is said that Zia left a state dinner to be at his bedside. Zia for years denied any atomic weapons program. Pakistan has neither the intentions nor the capabilities of having a nuclear bomb. We do not have it. We do not intend to have it. Uh, Senator John Glenn to said to today to that's baloney. To you know, we've been lied to for many years about the whole Pakistani program from the highest officials in Pakistan on down. American authorities hope to get to the bottom of all this by extraditing from Germany a retired Pakistani general who was arrested last month in Frankfurt. He's said to be the mastermind who secretly purchased materials from all over the world for Pakistan's atomic bombs. Mike Jensen, NBC News, New York. Another country caught in the BCCI web, Peru. Former President Alan Garcia has now denied any responsibility for the $270 million in government deposits with BCCI or the alleged bribes paid to bank officials. Peru's Congress plans an investigation.